Uh, so last week we did a Thai dish called ano, diba? um, shrimp. Yan. Fried shrimp. Thai fried shrimp fritters. Yan, tama. Nalala ko na kasi last week pa nga yung tagal niya. But yeah, last week we made Thai shrimp fritters. And now we're doing another Thai dish because they had a lot of leftovers dito ng ano, mga Thai ingredients. So might as well, gawa na lang tayong isa pang Thai-inspired uh, dish. So yeah, very very simple na recipe lang naman yung gagawin natin. River prawn tom yum gung. Or in Tagalog, parang kapareho lang ng mga Tagalog yung mga, di mga dishes natin. Eh. It's actually very uh, hot and sour soup. So it's basically... Uh, Sinigang na ulang. Parang gumagawa tayo sinigang na ulang. But of course, we're using other uh, herbs and spices na ihalo natin sa kanya para magsiset apart sa kanya dun sa normal natin na sinigang. So it's gonna be more aromatic and uh, a little bit more spicy. Of course, we're gonna start with our stock. Meron tayo dito ano, meron tayong shrimp stock. Basically, yung mga pinagbalatan namin ng hipon and yung mga heads na ginamit namin before. I froze it and now, pinakuloan ko lang siya and uh, yeah, I steeped it for around mga... 45 an hour, 45 minutes to 1 hour until ma ano, na, na extract na natin flavors niya. And I drained out the heads and the shells already. So we end up with this nice flavorful broth or yung pinaka sabaw niya. So again, start with a nice broth. You're, end, you're gonna end up with a very nice uh, soup. So we'll start with the lemongrass or yung tanglag. I'm just gonna use one stock because we only have around what? 4 cups ang soup dito. So I'm not gonna add too much uh, spices to this or herbs. Take that out. So, clean it up. Tanggalin nyo lang yung mga loose na mga leaves and yung mga dry because walang flavor yun, yung mga dry na leaves. So, what we want to do with this is just smash it up. There you go. Smash it up and just make it into a knot. Tali nyo lang para mas madali siyang tanggalin later and hindi siya naghihiwalay-hiwalay. Drop it right in. Simmering stock. You have your tanglad. From last week, may natira rin ako na ano, kaffir lime leaves. Inan mo lang siya. Bugbugin mo lang siya ng konti. Just scrunch it up to release the oils. And you can smell it. If you want, smell it like that. There you go. Just drop it right in. Couple of leaves. And you also have ginger. So, pareho lang na sinigang natin. Yung ibang sinigang, nilalagyan na ng ginger. But yeah, this one, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna help it uh, become more, ano, more uh, aromatic. And if you want, you can slice it. Or simply smash it up and drop it in. But yeah, I'm just gonna slice it into thin, slices so you end up with a very, uh, you end up with a bigger surface area or ibig sabi mas maraming surface yung ng duya yung naka expose and again you extract more flavor out of that we'll drop it right in and we're gonna add some uh, red chilies also so not too much because we don't want it too spicy baka hindi lahat makakayan but ako personally I like it really really spicy so natin medyo gusto ako when I, when I, when I eat my soup gusto ako. Piping hot, sobrang kailangan napapaso ako and I want it spicy, yung tinapawisan ka talaga when you eat it. And I have here tomato sauce, a tomato. Just gonna quarter it and drop it right in. Okay, it's becoming more colorful already. I have here a uh, red onion. Just gonna use half. And just peel it. And just again, cut it in half. Quartered lang din siya. Drop it right in. And we also have some fresh lime. So, just uh, got up a wedge. And now, I usually, I just add in the, no, I'm just squeezing the, the juice and I add in the the whole, ano, the whole, uh, even the skin. But I just fish it out later because hindi mo naman siya makakain. But I want to add in my, ano, my, my uh, what do you call this? You want to add in the, the peel. So, you get the flavor also from the zest or the skin. Pero wag masyado marami lalagay niyo na peel because again, because yung the white, white part or the pith, medyo mapait siya. So, you don't want that. So, squeeze in the juice. So, isang, ano na, one, one skin lang ilalagay ko sa kanya or quarter of a skin. Got in my sugar also. Uh, boil na natin yung water. Add a little bit of sugar, to add a little bit of sweetness. Not too much because again, we're making hot and sour soup or yung kailang uh, manghang na medyo spicy na mainit na sabaw but yeah ngayon natin siyang maging masyadong matamis taste it first mm. wait ang ang hang <laughs> add in a little bit of uh, fish sauce maybe 2 tablespoons would do and lahat na natin siya hindi na lang pa <laughs> Sayang naman yun. Sayang patis yun. So you have that. Let it simmer for a while. Maybe around uh, 5 to 10 minutes. And pwede na natin ilagay yung ating ah, sa pinakilan. So we have here our ulang or river prawns. So again, we're making 
uh, River Prawns Tom Yum. Okay, Tom Yum Go. Pwede natin lagay ano. We can put uh, our alam in. So, yung iba pag niluluto nila, tinatanggal nila yung pinaka, ano, yung pinaka close. Sayang naman, di ba? Kung tatanggalin mo yan, sayang yung presentation mo. So, it's just gonna look like ano, yung normal na subpo na malaki ulo. <laughs> so, hindi na drop it in. There you go. Make sure naka, ano, naka-submerge or nakalubog most of yung ano, katawan niya, even the, ano, even the claws. Okay. And maybe a fourth one. Lagi natin yung apat lang. Pwesto lang natin sila. It's like, ano ba? Para siya nasa, ano, naka-jacuzzi. Naka sila nasa jacuzzi. Nakalagay lang sila doon, ba? He's taking a bath in a hot tub. Diba? Ano? Lupit, no? Naka-hot tub lang sila. Apat na hipon na nasa hot tub. Diba? Lupit! Sarap! <laughs> Oy, over nyo lang siya. Ano ba? Chill na chill lang sila, diba? That's good. So, itong four, we can save it for later. Okay, so we're gonna simmer this. Hayaan lang natin siya mag-simmer for maybe around the uh, five to seven minutes because we don't want to overcook yung pinaka, ano, yung pinaka uh, river prawns natin. But yeah, we have to simmer it for a while para kumatas na yung lasa niya dun sa, ano, sa tom yum soup natin. But yeah, I'm gonna put something extra. Usually, yung lahat ng kinakainan ko before ng mga tom yum sa when I went to Thailand before, Hindi naman siya lahat may gata eh. But yeah, there are some uh, variations sa meron siyang sinasamang uh, gata. So, I'm gonna get a little bit of... Uh, yeah, hindi naman purong gata lalagay ko ah. So, I have here some cream. And I'm gonna grab a whisk. So, we want, what we wanna do with this is, gawa tayo ng whipped cream. Whip lang natin siya. You want it to double in volume. Kailangan umalsa lang siya. We're gonna irate it or hahanginan natin siya. Diba? Parang, di ba, parang yayabangan natin ng konti para humangin ng konti yung ano yan, di ba? Yung konting yabang mahangin masyado. So, ang tawag dito, mahangin na gatas. <laughs> May cream sa Tagalog. So, whisk it up. Pero if you want it to be uh, a little bit firmer, I'm gonna grab some, ano, parang siya magiging sour cream eh. But, not too much. Save this one for later. I'm gonna grab a piece of my uh, lime. And squeeze it in doon sa ano, para siyang magiging sour cream. Because yung ano, yung acid, it's gonna react with the, the dairy or the parang milk solids nung ano, nung, nung, nung cream. It's gonna firm it up. Medyo papatigasin niya by adding the ano, by adding the, the acid or the lime juice. Sirap. Ito pinaka-garnish lang natin, di ba? So, when we serve the soup, we add this on top. And it's gonna slowly melt into the soup and make it a little bit richer than uh, it should be. Yeah. Konting ano, konting lambing, diba? You add a little bit of love to it. You have that? You add a little bit of uh, cilantro also. Have a few leaves. And chilies also. Pero actually, maanghang na siya eh. So I'm not gonna add too much chilies anymore. Cilantro na lang tayo. Okay? Rough chop. If you have Thai basil or uh, yellow pur uh, purple stem basil, you can add that also. Kung meron. But it's not always available, so it's totally fine. So you can play around with the recipe. Simple recipe lang naman to, eh. but yeah. Kaya na bahala ko ano gusto niya ihalo sa kanya. Mix it well. Then we can add some coconut cream. Medyo ma-water down ng konti yung ano mo, but yeah, that's fine. Not too much. Just want the flavor ng ano, ng cream to melt into it. Oh yeah, pakilagyan ako ng oil dun sa ano, dar, sa fryer. Kasi meron tayong tropic na ano, homemade tropic. Oh, okay naman yun. So mix it up. So ready na tayo dun sa cream. Let's set that aside. And we have here some mushrooms. So it's been simmering for around 5 minutes already, 5 to 7 minutes. I have here some uh, mushrooms. So I'm using straw mushrooms. Usually straw mushrooms yung ginagamit nung ano ah, nung uh, isa ano sa sa tom yum and they add other types of mushrooms also. But usually when you eat it uh, when you eat it, ito yung usually nakalagay sa kanya. Pero ako, I'm just gonna add some ano also, uh, some fresh uh, shiitake mushrooms. Kung anong time niya ba siya kakain? Just drop it right in. Mushrooms. And some uh, fresh shiitake mushrooms also. Just gonna take out the ano, 
the ends and give it a nice slice. And drop it right in. Make sure submerge lahat ng mga mushrooms ma. So it soaks up the flavor and it imparts also. Kinakatas niya yung flavor niya to mix in with the, the soup itself. So ready na yung ano natin. Ready na yung uh, tom yam natin. We're just gonna grab our uh, cropek or yung ano, shrimp crackers na actually ano, homemade lang to. Eh. Ginawa lang rin namin pa dito sa ano. Sa, sa kitchen, sa Project Food Kitchen. So, yeah. Freshly made. Totoong shrimp yung nilagay namin, of course. So, gonna grab a few. Para ito na yung croutons, diba? Para sa shal, may croutons. Diba? Something crunchy to, get, to eat together with your, ano, together with your soup. It's hot enough. Munti. Let's try it. Drop it in. Mainit na ba? Bata masyado may init. Pero okay lang. A few moments later. There you go. Press mo lang siya parang bacon, di ba? You don't want it to curl up too much. Oh, awesome. Oh, gumana, no? Actually, isa lang yung gagawin muna natin para ready tayo mag-plate. Nice. Ha? Walang cooking. Hindi ka masang ka nakita ang cropek na ganyan kahaba, bro. Hahaha. Isa, isa pa, isa pa. Kaya ayaw mo maniwala eh. Oo, oh, ha? So, press nyo lang yung sides para it doesn't curl up. Wow! Beautiful. Diba? Mmm. Awesome. Clap, 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 clap. Ah, para siyang ano, seafood bacon. Diba? Wala ang bacon. Let's grab a bowl. Ganyan tayo mag-plate. So, I'm using a nice white bowl para lumilitaw lahat ng mga colors niya, right? And we scoop some soup. Lagyan natin muna na soup. Kinahin natin yung soup. Okay. Ganyan nga, so kung yung mga uh, serving vessel niya, nilalagyan niya ng ano, ng uh, may warmer. Para mas matagal siyang ano, mas matagal siyang lumamig. But yeah, okay lang naman kung ganito. Add a little bit of everything. Meron kayo nung ano, meron kayo nung soup. You have the onions. You have the tomatoes. Of course, the mushrooms. Kain tomatoes. Parang nandun lahat ng colors niya. Yes, the resistance. O yung pinaka ano niya. Centerpiece, di ba? Grab one. Pakapitin natin siya dito. Kailangan para siyang ano, parang lumilitaw siya dun sa ano, di ba? Kapit. Kapit ka. Kang man. Kang bibitaw. Another one. Di ba? Mapalag pa siya kung yari. Oh, huwag mo ako nun. Pwede, ayoko. Huwag mo ako kainin. Di ba? Gusto yung tumakas. Na ganito, tumatakas yung mga ulang mo na ganyan. Add a coconut cream. Base it around. Ito magda-add lang ito ng extra, ano? Extra richness and creaminess din sa ano. Diba? Kunti lang. Stray it around. Not too much. Wait! Of course, meron pa tayong ano. Yung crispy, ano na rin. Crispy, prawn, fresh prawn crackers. Just uh, pour in on top also. Pampadami lang. Pampaano pa yan. But uh, when you're eating it later, pwede siyang ano, di ba? You get something crunchy. Meron kayong kinakain na malutong together with your soup. Diba? It's like, a, again, a crouton. Parang Western na ano, eh, Western na uh, culture, Western dishes yung nilalagay. Usually soup, they add some croutons or yung bread. But tayo, we made fresh prawn crackers from scratch. Okay? So here's your, ano, here's your river prawn tom yam gung with the fresh made uh, prawn crackers. Yan, very, very simple. Dali lang. Yan, si, parang sinigang lang yung ginawa nyo. A lot of different spices put into it. But yeah, very simple to make. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. So uh, I hope you get it right at home. Cheers. Okay, so uh, earlier, ginawa tayo ng, ano, ng uh, tom yam gung. But uh, yeah, we used the uh, river prawns, yung uh, main ingredient natin for the tom yam gung. Because it's, it's in season right now, lalo sa Pampanga at sa Bulacan. But again, very, very basic recipe lang naman siya. Hindi naman ganun kahirap. Parang nga lang siyang sinigang, di ba? Very simple. Again, we are all in the Southeast Asian region. So, halos mga, yung mga techniques natin pagluluto, pareho. But kinakaiba lang natin doon sa mga ibang mga regions natin. Here are the ingredients. 
Because sila, ang dami nilang mga herbs and spices na ginagamit para sa lahat ng mga niluluto nila na you don't usually use here in the Philippines. But yeah, pareho lang naman yung topography natin, yung weather natin, and what have you, lahat. Pareho naman tayo, but hindi lang tayo sanay gumamit ng mga ganun klase ingredients. That's, that's why I prefer uh, cooking in any Asian dishes. Kasama yung Filipino doon. Ha? But again, pwede ko integrate yung mga Asian ingredients, other, other regions sa uh, ingredients doon sa mga Filipino dishes. And yun, medyo iniba ko lang na konti because gumawa ko ng coconut uh, whipped cream. Diba? Whipped cream talaga. Tapos nilagyan ko ng coconut cream just to add a little bit of yung coconut flavor. But not too much coconut flavor because whipping cream na rin yung hinalo ko sa akin and other herbs. Yeah. But yeah, mas exciting sa akin yung mga Asian dishes kasi compared to, uh, to, to European. But yeah, technique-wise, we are all taught in ano, the, the French... Uh, French tech in the French uh, classical techniques but yeah sa akin, sa akin lang flavor wise Asians are the best